Hey folks, I'm Saeed, the Coder Grammar, and in this video, we're going to be looking at how enums can work with interfaces. So this is not going to be an in-depth discussion about what enums are, and it's not going to be an in-depth discussion about what interfaces are. So if you don't know what either of those things are, you might pick it up from this video, but maybe you should go and research that first, and maybe I'll get around to making a video about it at some point. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first things first, let's create an actual enum. So we can go ahead and do that. Let's create a vehicle enum. Okay, and you can see some examples got suggested there without me even selecting that. That's GitHub Copilot that's creating those suggestions. And I'm actually in the process of making a video about GitHub Copilot. So make sure you subscribe and look out for that video. But let's go ahead and accept those suggestions. And let's say, let's change that to right. All right, so now we have three instances of the vehicle enum. So let's just put those on separate lines to make it a bit clearer. All right, so let's go ahead and create our interface. So if we say interface can carry passengers, okay? And you can see that we've got a good suggestion there and that's GitHub Copilot. I'm making a separate video about GitHub Copilot and reviewing that. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video, but you can see the yeah, suggestions are pretty incredible. But yeah, that's a good method. So we might say get number of passengers and let's add a check method. So we can say Boolean can carry yeah, another good suggestion. That sounds about right. Okay. So now we have one method that returns a number of passengers that that vehicle type can carry. And we have another method that allows us to check a given number. So for example, the passenger count on a given day, we can loop through and check which vehicles could take that number of passengers. Okay. So let's now implement that interface. So if we say public enum vehicle implements, just like you do with a class and we say it can carry passengers. Okay. Now we get an error because we haven't implemented all of the methods yet. So let's say implement methods. Okay, so we've just selected the definitions that were available. So we've just selected the suggestions that came up from IntelliJ. So let me just minimize that. Okay, now you can see that it's implemented both of these methods. All right. And the default implementations are not really what we want. Now keep in mind here, look what's happened. We've got a vehicle enum, but we've got only one implementation of this method. Okay. And we've only got one implementation of this method, but we've got three different vehicle types or three different vehicles. Now, if we've got three different vehicles, the number of passengers of capacity of each one will be different. So the way we can handle that is that we can implement that like this. And again, I can just select tab because I'm using GitHub Copilot, but let me remove this method here and just show you what we can do. So now you can see that car has its own implementation of the interface method, but we've only implemented one of the interface methods. The other interface method is implemented at the top level. And we've also got another implementation of that method here, which you can think of as the default implementation. That means if I create a class and in that class I call boat and I call this method on boat, it will execute this method here. So let's actually do that just so we can see what's happening a little bit more clearly. So, so if I create a little test class here, I call that static class test. Right, so we can say boat dot get number of passengers and we expect that that should return zero for default. And let's try the same thing for car. All right, so now let's run this method and see what happens. All right, cool. So we've got the default implementation, which is zero. And we've got number four, which is the specific implementation to car. Okay, so if we just come back down here and have a look what we've done. So where any of these instances have not implemented these methods specifically, we get the default implementation. But really, we never want the default implementation for number of passengers. That's always going to be specific to the vehicle. So let's just implement those. Now we get an error because we've got no default implementation. In fact, I'm just going to copy and paste this. All right, and I'll do the same thing here. Okay, and we'll say for airplane, let's say 100, and for boats, let's say 10. And now we have, we don't need this trailing comma here. All right, so now for each of the enum instances, 
we have our own implementation of get number of passengers, and that's specific to car, boat, and airplane. And at the very top level, we have this can carry method. So now let's implement this. We can just say get number of passengers is greater than or equal to number of passengers and just return that as a Boolean. So now let's go back to our main method up here. So we've got these two tests and let's, instead of this, let's say boat.get number of passengers, let's say can carry, and then we'll say 20. So we should get a Boolean of whether boat can carry 20 passengers. And we can say can carry. And for car, we can say one. And for aeroplane, we can say 99. All right, so let's give that a whirl and see what we get. All right, so a boat cannot carry 20 passengers. Let's just see if that's correct. Yeah, a boat has the capacity of 10, so it cannot carry 20. A car has a capacity of four, so it's true, it can carry one. And a plane should be able to carry 99, actually. So let's, oh, actually, that should be aeroplane. So just to prove that, let's run that again. So we're expecting false, true, true. All right, there you see, you can get false, true, true. So if I just minimize that and we go back to the bottom now. So just to reiterate, we implemented an interface, which is generally useful with classes and enums and everything else, because it's just a nice way to model things. But the way we implement the interface, you have two ways. You can implement it at the top level, or you can implement it specific to each instance, and you can even vary the two. So what we've got now is actually working correctly, but one of the methods is implemented at the top level, so you don't need to implement it for each instance because it's the same. But the one that's specific to each one, you can implement here. So you can really mix and match how you use the interface methods in enums. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you knew about or if this is something that's new to you and whether it makes sense and whether you'd model your code in this way. And also let me know what you thought of the GitHub Copilot suggestions. I think they're pretty amazing. I've got a video on the way about that anyway. So if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up because that lets YouTube know that it might be useful to other people. And make sure you subscribe if you wanna be kept up to date with the latest programming developments and software industry news. Thank you for watching.